Hi, my name is Frank Valencic from Advantage Property and welcome to our Investor Tips segment. This week we're going to look at the hot spots that I see in the next year. Melbourne's market is changing and transitioning and uh, these are my hot spots for the year ahead. In the west, I predict areas like Werribee will be very, very solid. Uh, there's still some good growth there. It's still very affordable and there's a lot of infrastructure development there. I also predict an area like St Albans will continue to improve. It's only 15 kilometres from the city and uh, is getting that ripple effect of demand coming from people that are priced out of the inner areas like Sunshine, uh, Deer, Deer Park. So I think those areas will do well in the year to come. In the north, uh, put a, a circle around Reservoir and Thomastown. They're about 12 to 15 kilometres from the city, still about a 30, 35 minute train ride directly into the city. So still very good proximity to CBD. Lots of demand there now from young families as the ripple effect has pushed them out from Preston and Thornbury and areas that are closer into the CBD. On the south, I predict some of the hotspot areas will be down the peninsula, so Dramana and Macrae benefiting very, very strongly from the new peninsula link that was introduced around five years ago, as well as the east link connecting it to the rest of Melbourne, and there's such strong demand and growth there. Uh, closer in, I think Frankston and Frankston North will continue to be very solid. They're still affordable. Their median house price of 500 and around 600,000. Uh, make them more affordable than other parts of Melbourne where you know lots of median house price suburbs are over a million dollars. We've got about 48 of them now. In regional areas, I like the look of places like Ballarat and Geelong. Ballarat is still very affordable. You can still pick up houses with good land size, uh, allow for future development at around 400,000. Geelong has already had a nice increase. Uh, the median house price is 720,000, but there are pockets within Geelong that are more affordable in that region of 500 to 600,000. Uh, so my predictions for the next year or two are to stick to the middle suburbs. I think a lot of the inner suburbs have already peaked in value and doubled, and therefore look at the ripple effect to some of these middle suburbs as well as some of the outer suburbs that tend to lag behind the Melbourne marketplace as well as regional areas. Thanks for listening to our investor update and we look forward to seeing you next time.